M0FXP, welcome to my videos learning the RT Systems Radio Programming Made Easy. M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So a big thank you to Karen and RT Systems and the team there for helping me out with this one. What I've been trying to do is, I mean, I'm a big fan of RT Systems. Anyway, I just think for $25, what you can get for all your different radios and the way that you can swap software between radios and the interactivity of of just having the same software for every single radio you've got I think in the long term makes life uh, a lot easier using your ham radios so what I wanted to do was if you go to D star here D star info and so we're talking about D star radios and the DR mode you can download a file by going to downloads repeater list downloads click that and then you get to this section here and you can put in your location here so we'll go Bristol I'm in actually a small seaside town called Western Supermare look up location like so and then add your radio as well I'm at ICOM 52E and then click download and you'll get a, a, a file a CSV file with all your repeaters in DR mode so once you've got that what I wanted to do was use the RT system software to just bring in a fresh file because um, I think that's quite a common thing that we do we get our radios and for whatever reason we need to put a fresh file we don't really want to you know take the SD card out of our radio or mess around with with complicated stuff we just want it nice and simple and if we've already got RT systems this to me was the way to go so we're gonna click DR mode here that's our DR memories and that's our existing memories just for now, to sh for demonstration purposes, we're going to clear that. So we're going to, and we also want to make sure that the whole file from DSTAR will fit. So we're going to click here, and we're going to go Control A, and then cut that out. Right click, cut. So we've got a nice fresh page there. So file, import. Let's find the file number seven, and then the important thing now: click next, and the semicolon needs to be selected normally it was the comma um, but once you select this it will work I mean DSTAR info is a place where everyone goes to to download their DR file so it's important that we can just grab a file from there go to RT systems and then import it and then we can change it as we feel as you can see that's worked fine now and we're now in a position where we can change it um, I will link a video by Karen that shows you some options there but you've got DSTAR selections here different settings you've got preferences as well Let's close that and if you go here you've got some sort settings and, and, and lots more and help here so you know RT systems is such good value and what I like about it is once you get used to using RT systems on one radio then you can you know you're, you're going to be familiar with any other radio whether it's Yesu, DMR, D-Star, all right, there, there will of course be changes because they're different modes, but you, there'll be a familiarity there, and that's why I recommend that you go with the RT system software. So thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe and hit the like, and catch you on air soon. 7-3, all the best.